hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my playlist where we are talking about serverless and it's all about lambdas which is available in uh, different cloud vendors like if you talk about aws azure google cloud uh, so all these cloud vendors provide these kind of uh, features where you can write functions like lambda functions similarly there is a azure functions right so first of all why we need these lambda functions to run our task so it is required for special use case i mean sometimes you don't want to worry about uh, the operating system the patches the security of operating system you just want to focus on the logic which you are writing in the functions because at the end what you are executing you are executing the code you don't want to worry about the platform on which your code is being executed what you need is expertise in a particular technology okay java node.js ruby and you write your code and the serverless framework will take care of deploying your lambda making your lambda available to the api gateway okay so here i'm logged in with uh, the administrator account not the root account and here we can just uh, look at the lambda so lambda api gateway all these are paired together now we will see the different settings of the lambda if i want to create a simple lambda function okay Hello Node.js, okay, so I'm choosing the latest version. Advanced settings is all about memory and all, network and all. So we can choose the default VPC, subnets we can select. At least two subnets, so let's do this. And if you want to access a particular AWS service, then you have to assign a role. So for now, we are just creating a simple Lambda. I uh, will take care of all those things later. Now security group, default security group for VPC. It is allowing all ports. And now we are creating our first Lambda. So, I mean, if you are creating a Lambda and not executing it, then you are not going to get charged. But if you are executing Lambda, that is the only cost which you need to pay. If you are executing the Lambda, getting hits, then you have to pay otherwise just creating the lambda it is sitting idle it's not consuming any resource any storage compute or networking resource so if this is the lambda and here you can see that uh, aws provide this nice and clean way of kind of editor field where you can also write your code like you can create a new files all those things it's like a small vs code not exactly vs code but some kind of that now what you need to do is it's a simple handler function you can see so it's a simple function and it is returning this json response right if you want to execute this if you want to test this then you can just simply action so you can also upload a zip file if you have the code base and which has a root index.js and same kind of signature is there then you can also upload a zip file upload from s3 is also possible okay now we can actually uh, uh, test it and deploy it uh, let me just see the settings status code uh, creating okay it's still creating the lambda function so it, that's why we are not able to test and deploy it you can just uh, refresh it i mean ideally it should not take that much time to create a lambda so this is all node.js code we choose node.js so it's a simple function and this is what returning the response and it's async so whatever you wanted to do here in further code we will add more files in some file you will be writing to s3 reading from dynamodb writing to sqs queues all those logics you can write you will not be writing everything in a single code you just need to have a root handler function after that this handler function can call your respective on other modules on other files it can be a whole like simple node.js application which is obviously not exposing uh, some http port on server you will be writing some uh, code only
okay now we can see our lambda is created and we can test this we can create a test event i'm just i'm just sending this uh, dummy json just to test it and here you can see the execution detail this is what we are getting hello from lambda and here you can also see the logs and regarding the logs it's a long story we are going to uh, check the logs for a particular lambda in the CloudWatch, which is another service of aws and it will give us the detailed log about a particular lambda so this is like this will help us to do the debugging and all i mean we are not doing anything in this particular lambda we are just sending a response back so this is our code whatever you are putting in the console.log and all these things you can actually check in the log and this is like you triggered once right now to execute this particular function you have to trigger it once again because it's not a server based it's a lambda which is a function which will execute when you are triggering it so you have to test it again you can configure multiple test events first whenever you are changing the code make sure you have saved it okay and then test it save deploy so 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 first do the code change then deploy and then test same cycle and now we will also see the logs in the cloud watch because we triggered this many times so we should be able to see the logs coming up in the cloud watch for the same and here we can see the latest logs are here you can see whatever i logged that is printing here so this is this will help us in debugging a lambda because you can't run remote debugging for lambda as per my knowledge what we do is you sometimes when you do the production debugging you have to just check in the cloud watch or your dependent services okay so this was our first lambda now this lambda you can't execute the code from the outside world directly to the lambda you have to integrate this lambda to the api gateway so the api gateway will give you the entry point to execute this lambda function on a particular port on a particular api endpoint okay that we will talk about so the first video we just created a simple lambda function and here we will be just using this designer because lambda function will be talking to sqs will be talking to s3 will be talking to dynamo db so a lambda function should have appropriate role so that lambda function can talk to other services okay now coming back to these lambda we have this lambda function provided by most of the cloud vendors like aws gcp and azure azure functions aws lambda functions the names are different but they are doing the same thing they are giving you the platform where you just need to write the code and that's it you write your function map it to the api gateway and expose it so your client your front end client should be able to call the service and get the response okay so our main focus is aws and then maybe later i may also talk about azure okay that's it so let's get started with the journey with the lambda in coming videos uh, thanks everyone